in changing my whole view of our history as, as human beings. Each time a new ancient genome comes in, because they are so very rare, we learn a hell of a lot. We have the oldest skeleton from found in the Americas, and it actually turns out to be the ancestor of present-day Native Americans. That's not a trivial uh, discovery. What was the surprise for me was how the genomic evidence showed me connections that I didn't think existed between different cultures and showed me the absence of connections that I thought did exist between different cultural groups. Native Americans have not always been treated very well at all by the scientific community. There were some serious, serious problems. We're not afraid of the DNA. We had to, we had to do it. We just had to do it because otherwise we'd still be fighting this in court probably. Namely a fight between scientists and the uh, tribes who has the right to these skeleton remains. And again, we found out, well, this is a Native American, right? Based on genomics, and they got the skeleton returned. And when I went to tell her <laughs> these results and that she was, she was the closest one, all she said, well, isn't that something? The whole ancient one was just a tremendously long process. And we were fast approaching close to 20 years of trying to have him repatriated. It was it was quite wonderful and remarkable and something I feel very honored to be part of in a small, small way. The only way we can understand the present and even try to predict or forecast the future is by looking into the past.